Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean. Today, we're talking about how to set up Node.js Express server with TypeScript. Let's get started with Yarm init, and we can create our own source folder with entry point index.ts. In order to use TypeScript, we will need TSC, which stands for TypeScript command line. If you don't have it like I do, you can simply install it by sudo npm install g TypeScript. Now we have it, we can use tsc init to initialize our TypeScript environment with tsconfig.json file. There's only a few things we need to configure. First of all, the root directory, which is the slash source. And then the module resolution obviously is node. The last one is the output directory. We will make it a disk folder here. Now let's go back to our package.json and add some dependencies. Apparently we need express and then the ts-node. This is a TypeScript execution engine for node. Besides, we need some diff dependencies like nodemon e2 to help us hot reload our node server in local development environment. It types for express and the TypeScript itself even we already have it globally. Since we have all the dependencies, we can start writing our div script by using the node mon we just installed, and the target will be source slash index. Now let's write some simple express code. We can now import it, initialize it, and listen to the port 4321 with a callback function which just console log a random message. After that, we can run yarn diff and you can see nodemon is using ts node to run against our entry point. If we go to localhost 4321 in the browser, you can see the server is up and running, but we have nothing on the home page since we didn't set up anything yet. So we go back to our code and have app.get slash and return a plain text. The nodemon is picking up the latest changes after we save the file and if we refresh the browser you can see that message appears so now let's do some typescript specific stuff like defining the type for example the express type can be imported from the express library and within the server callback function the first argument is the request and the second is response both of them can be imported from express it's still working after we save and refresh the server and browser Last but not least, how to write a build script. We're going to use the TSC again with dash dash project, or you can use the shortcut dash p. Let's run yarn build. And this folder generated with a compiled index.js, and we can try to run node against that dist file. You can see it's working as expected. That's pretty much about this video. Like and sub if you find it's helpful. Leave a comment to let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.